Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. John Eleven Hot here. Um, you know, like if you basically followed me on my Twitter page uh, the other night, which was Sunday. Um, today is Monday, September eighteenth, two thousand seventeen. Um, of course, like the title is going to be saying um, and stuff like that is. Well, let me give you a little bit of guess what I'm going to be talking about. Yep. I'm talking about it. I'm going to be talking about the good, the bad, the not so good about it, and my thoughts on the original, and my thoughts on the, um, hold on, and my thoughts on the, on both, um, the, which one, um, I can't give my full thoughts of the newer version, because I only saw part one of it so far, but the old one um, was like really good. Uh, Tim Curry did an outstanding job in the original um, It movie, which was a miniseries shown on TV. And of course, as everybody knows, the movie It is based on the Stephen King novel um, by the same name. Yeah, like it's about a group of kids that basically are like. How can I basically say it? Um, they feel like... Like, um... Um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? I'm blanking here. Um... Well, you know, forget about what I was going to say. But, you know, like they're, you know, like they're, you know like they're part of a group called the Losers Club. And, you know, they're, you know, like they're, you know like they get picked on by a bully named, uh... I think it's Henry Bowers, and guy can suffer that. And of course, at the same time, they're being stalked and taunted by Pennywise the Dancing Clown, um, and stuff of like that. So it's like really, really creepy and everything. Um, and you know, like the original, um, I got yeah, the original is good, except for you know. Like, I mean, the beginning starts out with a little girl. Spoiler if you didn't see the original. Um, the original starts out with a little girl playing outside. It looks like, yeah, like it's about to rain. And this little girl's on her bicycle singing Itsy Bitsy Spider. And then all of a sudden, you see Pennywise like near the laundry that's being dried outside. And... After that incident, yeah, we come, yeah, we come to the parent that comes outside and sees that the daughter's dead and everything. I guess mm -hmm. they didn't show the body. Of course, you can't show that kind of stuff, you know, like horror, heart, horror, and gore on TV because you'll have nightmares. Like if your kids are watching it and whatever and stuff like that. Um. Then of course we go to oh, Mike Hamlin. Um, which was part of the Losers Club, which is, uh, you know, they show the older, older version. Um, so I'm guessing what they're going to probably do with the sequel, like, It Part 2, um, and the newer one, is what they're probably going to do is they're going to probably show, like, you know, show some kid getting murdered or killed by Pennywise the Clown. And then whoever was left over in Derry, which the whole story takes place in Derry, like, um, and stuff like that, um, and I'm guessing whoever from the Losers Club is left in Derry to basically be like the Watchtower, so it's almost like, like, uh, the Justice League or something, which Watchtower. <coughs> But in the original, back to the original, um, Mike Hamlin, I, like if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, yeah, you can correct me by posting a comment below if I'm seeing seeing the name wrong. But I can basically check it out. Um, hold on a sec. See, this is what sucks when you're basically recording a bit. Yeah, I can re recording without cutting and stuff like that. Yeah, like, I'll be right with you guys in a minute. Um, 
Of course, Richard Thomas plays Bill. Yeah, I got that plays Bill. They don't talk about the last name. Ah, uh, it's Mike Han Hannon. Yeah, we're just gonna call him Mike Beverly. Beep beep, Richie. Um and Eddie and Stan. And Ben. Just to put it at that. And of course, you know, like, uh, and of course, I'm looking at the, what you call it, you know. And I was right with uh, the guy that taunts them, which is Henry Bowers. Okay. Uh, I got that, you know. But, you know, what happens in the, like in the movie, the original um, version, which was shown on TV, of course, that's why there wasn't so much gore and, you know, like, guts and everything like that. Because, like, because it was 90s, and back then you couldn't show that kind of stuff on TV because, you know, you don't know if you have kids watching with the adults, watching the movie with them and everything like that. Although, with that kind of movie, you, you say... Okay, kitty, it's time to go to bed. And, yeah, you know, but at the end of, um, yeah, like, at the end of the movie, um, the original, I'm sorry with that, you know, but I'm going to talk about the first part of, um, the, like, of the It movie. Is, like, in the beginning, yeah, you know, like, the kid gets murdered, Mike, Mike, basically sees a picture of Georgie which was part of the Losers Club's brother which is Bill like Bill's brother Georgie who basically got killed by it or should I say Pennywise we're going to call him Pennywise and stuff like that but it it's something that morphs into everybody's worst fear and nightmares and stuff like that so basically he called each of the person one by one and we basically see the kid's story in a flashback with each adult that Mike calls and says, it's back. Bill, it's back. Ben, it's back. Beverly, it's back. Stan, it's back. Well, he doesn't say, yeah, he, said, you know, he says, yeah, he tells everybody it's back because, you know, and then, of course, everybody comes back to Derry, Big reunion, happy times, and stuff like that, with a little bit of a nice, you know, like nightmarish kind of thing. With um, Pennywise basically going, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, taunting them, saying you're all too old, and stuff like that. And of course, in the end, they basically defeat it. Apparently, um, from what I basically hear on here on YouTube, that it wasn't really killed because it was. It was also mentioned in other movies and Zondra, you know, like Chandra, you know, like, you know, different stories of Stephen King and everything. Like it was mentioned in you know, like some of the, you know, like there was references mentioned in other Stephen King TV movies and stuff like that. Like I believe, if I heard correctly, uh, Tommy Knockers. Um, what was another one? Uh, I think that's the only one I can I can think of. But yeah, you know, now to the new series that came out um, September eighth of this year. Um, the story is good because this time instead of having flashback after flashback after after flashback with each witch girl, we're seeing one whole. We're seeing the Losers Club come together, and we're seeing the story how it should have been played like, where. You know, Bill makes the boat for Georgie and stuff like that. Georgie goes, plays with the boat in, you know, like, um, out in the rain and follows it to make sure it doesn't go much, but it does go down the drain like it did in the original. When we basically see, you know, like Billy's, you know, like Bill's, um, flashback of what happened and stuff like that. So, you know. 
but this guy, this is the twist. Instead of it taking place in the 1950s, I believe it, that was how, yeah, that was how it was. It takes place in the 80s now, which is really interesting. So when the adult ver, you know, like when the adult, when the adults part of the story comes up, it's gonna probably take place like somewhere in the in the 2000s or whatever. I don't know when it's coming out, but I'm gonna give you a heads up on it. Um, and stuff like that, but they're gonna probably, it's gonna probably be a little bit like the original, unless they're gonna do something dramatic, but, you know, I, my thoughts on, like, on it is, it's good, they're both good, they're both a little equally matched, they both had the scary clown, the one thing that's different is, it doesn't have the flashback, uh, for each of the kids, and when they're adults and stuff, which is good, so, it gives you, like, a good, which quote of what you're gonna be in for, for, the part two. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta wrap this up. So, you know, like, my thoughts on the new movie, it, it, you know, like, it has Pennywise, which is good. It has Henry, Henry Bowers. I can't give out some spoilers about what happens to Henry, though. You would have to watch the movie or something. But, you know, it has, like, everything, the spooky atmosphere and everything like that. It's, yeah, like, it's really awesome. Yeah, like, it's a really good movie. I would suggest that you go see it for yourself. Yeah, like, so go out there and see it. So until next time, this is John 11 Hot saying, till next time, bye-bye, everybody.